Jens is super jealous about us filming so much without him today. Are you struggling with this, Jens? Yeah, man, I'm a bit jealous. You're not in charge today. No, I am in charge, I'm direct. Fill my face first. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, do you want to learn to carve like that? I've got you the guy to teach you, or we are sort of going to teach you, mostly him. I'm not used to being a sidekick. <laughs> yes, because I grew up learning to ski all alone, so I developed a bunch of common mistakes, and I first corrected it in my early 20s when I was uh, ski instructing. That's why we're today going to do some carving with Kerr. Hello. What's cool about this is that when I have problems with a trick, I sometimes ask this guy for advice, and he's as passionate about turning as I am about analyzing tricks. That's why we got him here now. Feels good to turn. It Let's feels get good it. to turn. Yeah, pretend like we're about to do the filming. Yeah, <laughs> we just did the filming. We're actually going for Swedish meatballs now. When starting with anything, in the park, on the slopes, basic position is where it all stems from. It's really sure. easy to get right. It's something you want to have pretty down. Hip width skis. You imagine you've got a bit of string tied in your head, like under your skin. Mm -hmm. And then someone's pulling up on that. So you're going to go onto your tiptoes almost. Then I let go of the string and I relax. The ankles flex first. So the shins are rested against the front of the ski boots. The knees can then flex properly to allow the hips to stay over the center of the ski with a slight bend in the waist. Through our feet, we can be looking for like a nice even spread of pressure around all four corners of our feet. And our shins should just be, as I said before, rested against the front of my ski boot there. And this is the foundation that we want to work from when going through some of these carving tips. So, now that we've established our basic position on the skis, we can start to look at which parts of our body are moving to begin steering the skis. Yeah, that's really important because many people just tip in. When I ski instruct beginners, just tip. And that's not where the turn starts, no? We turn with our legs, not our body. Wow. It's a really subtle, small movement. Yeah. We're imagining we're bare feet on a wooden floor and we're just rolling onto the big toe side of our downhill ski, in this case the left one, and onto the pinky toe side of our uphill ski, in this case the right one. Mm -hmm. And it's very subtle, very small movement. So we avoid using the knees now. As you get better at it, yep. then you move much quicker through that little movement from the ankles. To really practice this, do J turns. We traverse across the slope using just the ankles. This is to make sure that you're not skidding out. So you can look at the tracks behind you after you've done a turn and see if they're two clean cuts. So, we've got the feeling for what, it, what it's like to carve with the skis slicing cleanly through the snow, mm -hmm. using all your ankles, going one direction over the slope. Now we want to link them together. What's important to say here, Jens, is these are it's very small movements. And there's always a tendency to try and do things really quickly but you just got a little bit, little bit more, a little bit more, mm -hmm. and the skis then roll onto the edge nicely. Also, as we release the edges to move into the next turn, the release and the smoothness of it is as important as the application of rolling onto the edges. So really have some patience and let the turn exactly. start. We've had a bit of time practicing using her ankles in isolation and you'll probably find that your knees automatically want to come in and join the party to help out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because as soon as you twitch the feet, they do come with it. And it's exactly that. Bit. You know, as your ankles go in, the continuation is your knees moving in towards the snow, almost to kiss it. Like when you're riding, if you were a racing motorcyclist. Yeah, they do drag their knees in the ground almost. They're crazy. So the knees go in towards the hill. And in this case, my left shoulder and all down underneath my left armpit 
I'm going to start to contract the muscles. So you get a little pinch around about your waist. Do you feel that? Yeah, I do feel that. Contracting these muscles is going to pull your upper body further down the hill. So that allows us to stay balanced through our outside ski. And it's still very subtle. We're only doing as much as we need to yeah. to respond to the forces. And for you who are watching, why we want to get more in, it's so we get more power over the turn. When we get faster, a steeper slope, there's more of mother nature yeah. to have to deal with. She's a, she's a feisty girl. Oh, she is, isn't she? So to deal with this feisty girl and her G-forces, it's important that we use all these techniques in a fluid motion. Where you start off using those ankles to get the skis on edge, and then that is followed by the knees are tipping in too. And then lastly, feel a pinching motion that makes your body tilt like this, so that you put more force on the outside foot, giving you fast, hard carves like this. No matter if you're into park riding or free riding, make sure to perfect your carving technique and it's gonna open up the mount into a whole new playground. But I got Jens in my pocket. All right. He's a ski rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learn a lot and thank you so much for joining. Hey, thank you for having me, Jens. Thanks yeah. for having me and thank you for listening to my dulcet tones. And uh, if you enjoyed learning through Kerr and me and this video, let us know in the comments below if you want to see Kerr again because he's one of these go to guys I have when I think about a trick and I can't really figure it out as such or we'll talk about turns dude it's all skiing sweet man i made you a little playlist of our other how to ski videos and if you want to learn your first tricks on skis we made two online courses for beginner skiers where you can learn your first tricks on skis